Hey guys, in the next two and a half minutes, we're going to cover the new features for Adobe Illustrator 2023. Partially overlap objects with intertwine. So you can see I have an overlapping design. Let's select everything, go to object and down to the new option intertwine. Select make and your cursor will change to something like a lasso tool and you can drag around a segment and it will flip around which one's on top. You can also hold shift to draw a perfect square segment. And if you're not careful, you can totally screw this up as well, as you can see here. So let's go back up to edit. We can go down to intertwine. We can release this to start again, or we can edit to go back inside the group. Once you select edit, this cursor appears again and you can carry on. You can also double click to go inside the group and move objects around, but as you can see, your results may vary. Sharing Illustrator documents for review. So you can see I have a logo design, spoiler, upcoming video, and I'm going to click the share button and share this for review. I can give the link a name, choose who can see it, and then select create link. Illustrator will take a moment to do its thing, and then you can copy this link and paste this into a browser. Now you can share it with your team and get feedback, very useful for collaboration, or if you're a one-man team like me, well, you can just reply to yourself. Oh, how sad. Retain format pasting text between Illustrator and InDesign. So I'm actually in InDesign now, I have some text. I'm going to go to Edit, Copy, switch over to Illustrator, go to Edit and Paste. Simply resize the text box if your text appears on multiple lines, and you can see it's brought through all the font properties here. Automate workflows with quick actions. So I've got some text, I can select it, go to the search icon in the top right corner and select quick actions. Now I can select one of these to apply the effect to the selected object. Let's just make this a bit bigger. And you can see from the appearance panel, all of these properties are fully editable. However, if I go to window and down to graphic styles, this does already feel very familiar. So I'm not sure about this one. There's five to start with and hopefully Adobe will add more. Additional formats for exporting 3D objects. I'm using the pencil tool to draw a wiggly line. I'm adding a fill color of orange and from the 3D panel, I can then select Revolve. Select right edge and you've created a, well, don't really know what that is. But regardless, you can export this 3D object and there are a few more formats available. And with some existing formats, better compatibility. Improved performance placing multi-linked files. So I've imported a few PNG graphics and if I open up the links panel, you can see these are all linked images. Now side note, you can embed these into the document so they are no longer linked. But regardless, when working with multiple PNGs, the performance is much smoother. Even if I select them all and drag them wildly around the screen for no apparent reason. So there you go, the new features for Illustrator 23. I'll see you next time.